Oh man, the big story in Orlando right now, Universal's Epic Universe. Universal announcing the new park, promising that it'll be bigger and better than any park that anyone's seen. New renderings show, well, they've got a hotel, there are several different lands, we know that, a series of fountains, and you can also see a number of indoor attractions, and at least one roller coaster. We know that we have an obligation to ourselves, much less tourists from around the world, guests from around the world, to make this the biggest, the best, the most ever, you know, that they've ever seen. So where is it going to be? It's going to be just southeast of Universal's current property and is expected to double the size of the resort. At this point, there's no opening date, but it doesn't mean that we can't get excited and we can't speculate about it. So joining us now is Matt Rose, Roseboom from Attractions Magazine. And I think I know what your next cover is going to be. <laughs> Probably that rendering, wouldn't you think? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is something that doesn't come as a real big surprise because if you, if you really follow the attractions like you guys do, uh, you've known that they've had the land and there right. are renderings, there are drawings of access roads coming in and out so you can see where the roads have to go and figure out well they're, they're planning for buses coming in and out so you knew it was gonna be something huge yeah it's actually land that they used to own they sold off and they were able to purchase it again and it's enough land like it said double the size of what they have now so you know they're gonna put a theme park there right so we were just waiting for this announcement as much as they've announced there's still so much that they have not announced I would imagine you guys have looked at this rendering with you know little binoculars <laughs> yeah, and yeah. trying to see exactly what things are can you get an idea of what might be going in? Yeah, they haven't announced any of the lands, but taking the rumors that we knew about what possibly could be in there yeah. and looking at, like you said, breaking it down, we did on our website each little piece of the, of uh -huh. the map, and you can kind of tell it matches up. So what we've got is maybe a Super Nintendo land. We know yeah. that was coming, just not they've, they've, where. They've said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of them looks like a classic Monsters land, like a possibly Dracula, Dracula, Dracula Castle, Castle maybe. Universal famous for that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, maybe a How to Train Your Dragon or DreamWorks area. Area, gotcha. Another Wizarding World area, maybe uh, the Fantastic Beasts, the mm -hmm. new sets of movies. And then um, what was the other one? Uh, there was, of course, there's the hotel. And then there's a roller coaster. It looks like a yeah. launch coaster because it's so long. Yeah, the coaster looks like it possibly is part of the How to Train Your Dragon area. We can't really tell from oh, the artwork. Okay. It, it looks like it's designed kind of after uh, 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 Fantasyland in it, 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 the Magic Kingdom, I mean, because it's all one sector area that sort of sp spills out into other different lands. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a, what they call a hub and spoke where you go into the middle yeah. one and head out to the different lands. You know, uh, one of the words that they used was immersive. So you, you're not just going to park at City Walk and go in. It looks like you can just immerse yourself and stay at the hotel or stay right mm. there and never actually leave the park. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And we, we think the hotel, you'd be able to, like you said, go in from the outside and enter the park through yeah. the hotel uh -huh. if you want to, if you would like to stay there. And yeah, we expect the lands to be really immersive because that's the way theme parks are moving nowadays yeah. with Star Wars. It all started with Harry Potter. Right, so. right. I can tell you what, when you walk in to the, 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 the Harry Potter in the uh, Universal area, that is really incredible because that is immersive. That's probably the experience you're going to be getting. Yeah, I would think that each of these lands are going to try to recreate that. Do you think, I'm a season pass holder, do you think I'm going to be paying a little bit more? Uh, <laughs> most likely. I'm going to double the size I of mean, the even park. if they weren't building a land in a few years, you're going to be paying more. It just keeps going up and up. Have you guys speculated at all on when they might get things cranked up? No, we would say at least three years at the least, I would say, yeah. but um, well. Universal is pretty quick. They've built attractions, just one attraction in a year, so maybe they could get it done in two, but we're thinking three or four. Yeah, and the infrastructure that they're building down there to handle all of the traffic, we we're estimating with some $14 billion it could be bringing to, to Central Florida, but this is probably going to have a great ripple effect for everybody, you know, oh, yeah. because people still come here for Disney. They think Disney, but they'll go, hey, while I'm here, I'm going to go check out that new place yeah, at Universal, yeah, or definitely. vice versa. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're already doing that, and this is going to give them even more reason to do it. And that's what Universal's trying to do, is get people to stay more days at Universal. Whereas now, it's like, I'll spend my week at Disney, and I'll spend a day at Universal or two. Or, now yeah. it's going to be three or four days you're going to have to spend at Universal. Well, there's no time to get everything done. No, I you're going to have to. Spend <laughs> a week to get things in. Yeah. All right, hey, great to see you. you Thank too. you so much. Thank Pick you. up your latest copy of Attractions Magazine. This one's focusing on the uh, on the Star Wars, which I've been pouring through. But of course, I'm saying the next one's probably going to be Universal. Yeah, we'll have tons of info about that. All right, good deal. Thanks. Thanks for coming in.